Uh, what's going on YouTube? It's Mixed Breed and welcome to another Black Ops video. Today we're going to be going over some settings. That's really it. We're just going to go over some settings. I play on a uh, console on Xbox Series S. Um, so this will also be for, I guess, PlayStation. You can also use the same settings. First of all, going into my settings beforehand, I want to show you. Troller I play on is a Vic Trix. I also have on some extensions, some rubber extensions, and I'm also, I also use a ring underneath my right analog stick. I have my uh, face cam and we'll get right into it. Go into the controller settings first. Um, I mean, input also obviously controller. My button layout is a bit different because my Victrix controller has four paddles on the back. I have all the face buttons on the back paddles so that I can, uh, you know, use so I don't have to take off my thumb off of my analog stick. Uh, and speaking of analog sticks, I use for my right analog stick, I use that to switch my weapon and to play it up. Uh, I play on uh, seven, seven cents, depending on how I'm feeling, I'll go up or down. If I need to practice a little bit more, simplify control presets off, lower motor strain presets off, pumping off, controller vibration off. And for my dead zones, uh, my left stick minimum, I have to one, uh, my maximum to 75 so that I can hit the attack sprint quicker. Uh, my right stick, my controller is really good, doesn't have any stick drift at all. So I have it to zero right stick. Is, or my max is uh 99 and my triggers are at zero so that i can have the best response to the triggers as possible for aiming i have everything sets about 85.85 for sensitivity multiplier uh standard look conversion aim settings uh there's really nothing to even change here um ads sensitivity transition timing to instant um you know you want to be the fastest you want everything to respond the quick as quick as possible and response curve set to dynamic and yeah every, it really sensitivity everything is kind of just preference about how you feel um okay movement we have tactical sprint assist um we'll have that set and then we'll hit X to show more and sprint assist delay to zero. And then on, on, mantle assist off, crouch assist off, corner slice. I have that on, that's personal preference. I kind of like when my gun um, angles a bit when I'm hitting a corner. I feel like, I feel like I'm hiding, but I don't know the like science behind it. If you're actually covered more compared to having corner slice off. Slide dive behavior I have set to hybrid. Um, that's just my personal preference. Auto door peak and automatic airborne mantle. I personally have it set to partial. I feel like it's really slow to auto to, to, to manually mantle. That's again, just personal preference. Uh, sprint restore on. Uh, allows you to resume sprinting after various actions without being required to press uh, left analog stick again. Slide maintain sprint on so that when you come up after uh, hitting your slide cancel, you can go right into a sprint. Parachute automatic behavior, I've set that set to off that's for, or a free fall. That's so that I can pull my chute as close to the ground as possible. In war zone, this is for war zone. Mantle cancels reload, I have that set to off. Um, movement settings, uh, sprint behavior, set toggle, auto movement forward off, ground mantle is on, That's, again, just personal preference, and then vehicle settings, no one cares about that. All right, for combat, have aim down sight, behavior is pulled, and weapon mount activation, ADS and melee, uh, dedicated melee weapon activation, Old melee so that you can pull out your uh, pistol, which I can't for some reason because I have my right analog stick, so I'll figure that out. 
Yeah, I'll figure that out. Armor plate and armor plate behavior set to apply all for war zone when you need a plate and just hit the button and um, it'll apply every plate. Seaboard detonation activation all at once. Uh, equipment behavior hold. Manual fire behavior to press. And combat settings change zoom activation sprint tactical sprint focus weapon mount exit set that to instant so that when you exit your mount onto like a wall then as soon as you move it is instant there's no delay interact real reload behaviors prioritize prioritize reload i have this set to prioritize reload while i'm in multiplayer when i head over to warzone i will probably have it set to um tap to interact all right and then sprint cancels reload i have that set off ads stick swap off um i have a depleted ammo switch weapon switch on when i run out of ammo i will automatically switch over to my uh secondary and then body finishing move behavior i have set to prioritize body shield you can have that set to finish only body shield only prioritize finish it's up to you and then overlay settings there's really nothing here uh for graphic settings for gamma i have it set to 55 eco mode reset is off quality i have everything except for um fidelity set to off so fidelity is on set to 90 and on demand textures streaming set to minimal and then i just have uh, uh located textures to auto for view i have motion reduction preset off 120 and affected wide um Everything else is default. For audio, I have max master audio to uh, ma uh, master volume set to 100, gameplay music volume set to 30. You can have that off as well if you want. I like to hear something in the background. I have dialogue volume to 90 so I can hear when airstrikes are coming down. With, uh, effects volume to 100 and cinematic volume. Uh, cinematic volume set to 10 um i don't know why i have this should be on enhanced headphone mode should be on but it does say we have encountered an issue with enhanced headphone mode contact and body support at support if the issue well i don't know what that means uh so i think they have this set to off right now um set it to on if it lets you use it I don't know. I'm not going to mess with the enhanced, enhanced headphone audio right now. Uh, if you guys know what to do or have gone through this, let me know down in the comments. Uh, but the global audio mix, uh, Sucker Punch, I thought Treyarch mix was going to be the best because I thought that was like they are like that's there from, you know, it literally says the audio mix ha uh, as intended by the Treyarch team. But no. That's not the best one to use. Sucker Punch is definitely the best one to use to hear those footsteps. Uh, mono audio off. If you stream, obviously mute your licensed music. Uh, asymmetrical hearing compensation. This, again, I'm not really too sure how, what, what goes into this. I think it's just the left ear and right ear. Um, when I get more information on this, I will let you know. But for now, I'm just gonna turn it on. Uh, reduce sound, set to on. And hit marker preset is completely up to you, whether you're non default or classic. I've set default. Voice chat, voice chat is super annoying. So please change your voice chat settings. Voice chat volume is set to 20. Voice chat volume on. Proximity chat on. Body shield chat on. Last word chat on. Game, uh, for me, I just have it set to friends and channels because I don't really care for the voice chat too much. Um, but have that set to all lobby or party only, depending on how you want it. Voice chat output device is set to headset, since I use headset, not speakers. Microphone level is set to 10. 
open mic sensitivity is set to 20. Play with this, you can mess with it in, in game or literally let you test your microphone. Um, and then your choice whether you want to mute yourself when connected to the channel. Okay, with interface, uh, I have visual support preset off, menu prompt automatic, game tips off, tutorials off, skip kill cam on, tool tips on, and then all the um, server latency pack loss clock and connect meter, uh, connection meter on. Okay, readability is just the subtitles. I choose to not have those on, but color customization. Um, I chose a few brighter. I, everything's the same. I just chose the brighter versions of the uh, the colors. Um, same thing with the squad members. Uh, color filter settings, filter two, set to either only world or both. You definitely want it on world. Uh, but if you want the interface, like the menu to also be affected, then you would uh, set to both. That's what it looks like on only world. And then that's both. And then the intensity. Gameplay HUD. My safe area is all the way in as much as I can. That way I don't have to strain myself looking over at the map or my kills or um, my ammo. Uh, HUD preset. I like to have on magnified. I don't know why it's set to standard. I had it on magnified. Magnified is just the exact same thing as standard, uh, except it's just bigger. So I, again, you can see your stuff much better. Uh, mini map shape squared, mini map rotation on, radar off or on. Again, that's preference. I'm gonna turn it on, see how I like it for a little bit. Uh, compass, you want to set that to horizontal or on mini map if you want it on your mini map, but you won't be able to see it too much if you want to make quick call outs. Horizontal to be right at the top of your screen. Um, vehicle HUD, in game ch uh, text chat, uh, full uh, player names, just abbreviated icon only or full name. I have a full, full name. Crosshairs, you can mess with your crosshairs. It's up, up to you. Again, just preference. Uh, I have hit marker, visual, and damage base hit markers on. I have weapon. You can, This is cool, actually, down at the bottom of gameplay HUD. You can actually mess with the opacity of all of the, uh, um, like, uh, eliminations, the player streaks, uh, equipment information, uh, weapon information, score feed, and even your minimap, you can... You can uh, mess with your past uh that is really that's it that's all the settings for uh uh again i'm on xbox have you guys enjoyed this video and you got some information out of it definitely please hit the like button subscribe if you're not subscribed share my content with someone you might think will enjoy it. let them know to like share comment and subscribe as well Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys have a good day, good night, and a good morning wherever you're at. I'll see you in the next one.